more than half of the one billion people across the world that don't have access to electricity are still in sub-Saharan Africa. And if you look at Nigeria, a country of 200 million people, 100 of them live in rural areas. And that is where mainly people without transportation access are. What we are doing as Nigeria Energy Support Program is to support people in the rural areas, especially to gain access to electricity. So the Nigeria Energy Support Program is a technical assistance program commissioned by the European Union and the German government to support Nigeria to increase access to electricity through renewables, energy efficiency, but especially in the rural areas. Over the years, we have worked extensively to support the Nigerian government with models and with strategies, supporting us on policy framework in order to be able to provide electricity to the last mile. The Ministry of Power, especially the Renewable Energy Department, is collaborating with the Nigerian Energy Support Program, which is promoted by the German government and the EU. And we have involved in so many renewable energy projects across the country, which they are giving their support in collaboration with the ministry. So there was a conversation with uh, one of the developers, actually the one that operates in Bamu Bamu, which is Rubitech. And so they came in discussion with a company called Max. And the Max essentially had been pushing a lot around transportation in Nigeria, improving transportation in Africa. And so that conversation then led to piloting the EV that currently operates in Bamubam. When they came in to meet us, that they were bringing this kind of innovation in, we are very happy about it, so that we know it's going to enhance the life of our community people here. So we're trying to find a space for them that we make them to have access to the solar milligrid and also design a tariff that will work for them to make more profit and as well we make our profit. Where the mini grid operator have excess power, we buy it at a cheaper price, where they make money and we also make our own kind of revenue and why the people renting the buy also makes their own revenue, like a win-win game for everybody. As we speak now, we have up to 100 mini grids being operational in Nigeria and most of these mini grids still have extra or additional power to give. So what we are currently trying to do is to increase productive uses in these places to increase social activities, economic activities, and improve livelihood. Currently in Nigeria now, data is showing possibility for about 4,000 potential mini-grid sites that could be developed over the next coming years. So if we had this on top of that as a complementary business that goes along with this mini-grid for electricity usage, that tells you there's a sizable market there to tap into. The major impact of this innovation here is that it allows everybody to make more. The amount they are taking other bikes, when you check it, you know that they will be making more if they make use of this. Market and she and she. So I'm okay. I know they are man local kiri. Today you come Benin Benin. We come Benin Petes. So I come Benin Bibai. We come Benin Eriwano. So I come where Benin where you Petes is. So we come to change Aguru. So Ati Ejo. So I'm a part of the conflict. I'm a member of the Jaloni. One of the things we're also trying to establish is the social economic impact of this. Um, what was it like for the people using the fossil fuel operated bike? What is it like now that they now have electric bikes? At first, you generate more revenue for the riders in terms of cost. Then in terms of pollution, you actually help to reduce the CO2 in the ecosystem. If you rent an immobility, you're, you're being charged about 1000 which is you can go to the junction, do what you want to do, and come back at that same price. So it will actually make you save more money in your pocket. 
and if you're going to rent a bike for a certain period of time in the community, you might be charged about four thousand, five thousand. But I'm going to go and get five five hundred. So you want to be careful, wa. But then last time we were lorry, we only one thousand. The mobility has improved our energy utilization. They buy more from us and we make our own profit from them as well. And this actually creates a lot of youth employment in that area. Now the youths are fully engaged, you know, by you know using electric means of charging their vehicles instead of using fossil fuel. Electric mobility has come to stay. That is the future of mobility, right? How can we tap into it? How can we key into it very early? So government has a role to play in terms of the policy and the regulatory framework that has to be in place. The private sector has a role to play in terms of the technical know-how, the competence they have to put out there. The operators also have to play their own part in terms of the maintainers and the effective operation of all these utilities. And of course, the end users who are going to be the one benefiting from it will also have to see the benefits that this brings on the table. Calling for all the stakeholders including the, our development partners, private investors, to buy this idea and also replicate this particular immobility across the country for national development and economic growth. Also, all the other donor organizations that are working in Nigeria, specifically those working in the power and the agricultural sector, I believe there is need to bring the power and the um, agricultural sector together into an energy agri nexus to make sure the energy innovative ideas we have are used to create productivity within the agricultural sector that in general will definitely boost the economy of Nigeria.